Today we're gonna be hanging an indoor ducted system. So this is a, a Dakin unit. Um, we'll be using perforated strap to show you guys how it's all done. So I've got a, a helper with me today to do some of the parts. All right, so these are the tools we're gonna be using here to get this unit strapped up. Um, so we've got some perforated strap, an impact driver to fix um, the, the fixing. So we both have wood screws, metal screws to screw into the side of the machine. Um, got some snips to cut the, the strap with and a level to make sure the, the unit's sitting level. All right, we're gonna start off by hanging our unit using the strap. So first of all, what we do is put our strap over the top timbers. So we're gonna feed them over to work out the length that we need. All right, so what we're trying to do is get the height so then we can secure it to the side of the unit and give us enough play to be able to yank on this and then raise the unit with it. So about that length makes sense. So what I'll then do is snip that and I'll bring that to the floor and then so I can match the length on the next one. So we're gonna need four of these to pick up all four corners. They don't have to be exactly right um, because they're gonna get snipped back anyway afterwards. Okay, so we'll start off by putting the straps over and I can pass the other two to the other side. You can start his side. We'll then go over on the front end as well. Using our, our screws that fix into metal, we'll screw into the corner, four corners of the unit. We usually use two screws to fix these. So I'll just screw this second one in. Gives us a nice secure hold. All right, now we'll, um, we'll hang the unit. So I've got some, um, some wood screws and all we're gonna do is pick up the unit, pull some weight off it and then pull on the strap and then be able to hold it up like this, all right? I'll sometimes get my knees underneath the unit at the same time to get me some more, some more height on the unit. I'll put in the first fixing over here and then we'll work off that to start off with and then we'll level that up afterwards. Okay, so first we'll check that it's level this way. Drop your front corner. More, front corner. As you can see, there's a slight fall on the unit. So what we're doing is we're tipping the unit slightly this, light, this way, just slightly. And the reason for that is we need to direct all the water out of the drainage point out of the unit, okay? 